formal mission of U equals me is stated as a movement of conscientious objectors to intolerance, or simply stated a movement against intolerance. And the exploration of that statement really gets to what, what are the similarities between people? What do we all have in common? Why are we really equal as humankind? And that's what we're going to explore. This podcast is about exploring conversational thoughts and interviews with extraordinary people living ordinary lives of well-being. Discussions on exactly what well-being means to people day to day, factors that can influence it both internally and externally. We glean insights on how to survive and thrive in feeling satisfied in life with a greater sense of purpose. Guest hosts bring fresh new outlooks and opinions from spirituality, science, worldviews, and standing up and speaking out for what's right. It's pretty interesting. Man needs each other and planet Earth to survive. Check it out. I think you'll like what you hear. Me podcast is focused on well-being. And if you are well, then you treat others well. Today we offer you a couple of minutes of communing with nature, the birds of Maui. Communing in nature calms us from the inside. Our native peoples and ancients knew the secret of the wild. Spending time in the natural world, bonding deeply to the healing powers and primordial path of emotional and spiritual cultivation. Natives operate under the conviction that all objects and elements of the earth, both living and non-living, have an individual spirit that is part of the greater soul of the universe. The animal spirit is another form through which nature weaves itself through Native American beliefs and customs. Individuals have a particular animal whose spirit they connect with, a guide that strongly shapes who they are and how they live. All elements of nature are endowed with a higher meaning. Trees, for example, represent more than just a source of life and healing. Their spirit emanates permanence and longevity. Even different types have different purposes. In the culture of the Maori people of New Zealand, humans are deeply connected with nature. The two are equal and interdependent, even kin. The idea is reflected in the Maori word kaitikitanya, which means guarding and protecting the environment in order to respect the ancestors and secure the future. The Maori's intimate relationship with their lands and the natural world is shared by many other indigenous peoples around the world, and it highlights why these are often These often marginalized groups are gaining recognition as vital stewards of our environment and its fast depleting resources. Their traditions and belief systems often mean that they regard nature with deep respect and they have a strong sense of place and belonging. This sustains knowledge and ways of life that match up well with modern notions of nature nature conservation and the sustainable use of natural resources. We experience ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, as something separate from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of consciousness. Quote from Albert Einstein. From the Dalai Lama, In our quest for happiness and the avoidance of suffering, we are all fundamentally the same, and therefore equal. Despite the characteristics that differentiate us, race, language, religion, gender, wealth, and many others, we are all equal in terms of our basic humanity. Again, Dalai Lama. This from the Scientific American. The belief that everything in the universe is part of the same fundamental whole exists throughout many cultures religions, spiritual traditions, scientific traditions, as captured by the phrase, all that is. The Nobel winner, Erwin Schrödinger, 
once observed that quantum physics is compatible with the notion that there is indeed a basic oneness of the universe. Therefore, despite it seeming as though the world is full of many divisions, many people throughout the course of human history, and even today, truly believe that individual things are part of some fundamental entity. So I'd like to share an ancient secret with you that there is no out there. It seems like it is out there, but it's in your soul. We are inescapably involved in bringing about that which appears to be happening. We're not only observers, we're participators. This is the big secret, the whole earth pulling, pulling, yearning inside of us. So why is connecting with nature so profoundly healing? There's something about connecting with the earth that harmonizes our internal rhythms, induces inner peace, and recharges us. Mother Earth herself is an electromagnetic magnetic being, and so are we. We're made of the same stuff. Not surprisingly, when we connect with nature, our energetic frequency begins to oscillate the same frequency as the earth. We attune to her heartbeat, her breath, as she holds us. So please take a deep breath. Let these beautiful sounds of creation itself fill you. I recorded this on April 9th, 2021 from our uh, deck in Maui. And um, you will hear, they're beautiful birds. You'll hear Franklins, which are the really loud ones. Uh, you'll hear the Hawaiian honey creeper, cardinals, doves, parrot bales, sparrows, and more. So I hope you enjoy. Connecting with the earth literally brings us to life. It breathes us. It restores and rejuvenates our energy field. The frequency of Mother Earth is incredibly healing, and it's perfectly configured for optimal human beingness. Earth is like an enormous battery connecting with it, and we recharge. Through our eyes, the universe is perceiving itself. Through our ears, the universe is listening to its harmonies. We are the witnesses through which the universe becomes conscious of its glory, of its magnificence. Quote by Alan Watts. You are not in the universe. You are the universe, an intrinsic part of it. Ultimately, you are not a person, but a focal point where the universe is becoming conscious of itself. What an amazing miracle, quote by Eckhart Tolle. Our responsibility since creation is as ancient wisdom holds that humans were created to be the caretakers of the earth. We were placed here on this planet in order to care for its plants and animals, to protect its natural beauty and show respect and gratitude for all the abundance that the earth gives us every day. Ancient wisdom and many indigenous people today bear witness to the fact that even inanimate objects have vibrational energy. Even modern science findings such as superstring theory support the idea that vibrations are at the core of uh, all existence. The vibrations 
are there, but in modern cultures, we are not taught to hone in on the scenes that can detect this type of energy. And so for most of us, it goes unnoticed. But if we stop and think for a minute, we can begin to recognize the ebb and flow of the natural world around us. Flowers that open and close, cycles of birth and death, the tides and the migrations of birds, weather patterns, cycling from sun to rain, back to sun, the season, the orbit of the earth around the sun, and even the expansion and contraction of the universe. All these are vibrations on smaller or larger scales. So fascinating wisdom is. Thank you for listening today. We hope you've enjoyed Maui Birds communing with nature. You can download our ebook at Wisdom Along the Way at uequalsme.org. Links will be in the show notes. Our merchandise is available at U equals me Etsy store. All one word in your Google search. Go in love and bring in light. Bye for now.